you guys it is faith welcome back to another video on the channel for today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a huge summer collective haul i thought it would be a really fun video idea to show you guys everything that i bought over the last month everything that i mention in this video will be linked in the description below so if you're interested in any of these items then they will be waiting for you at the description i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and without further ado let's get right on into the haul I am going on vacation super, super soon. Some of these purchases are specifically for the vacation. This first thing is actually something that I've actually wanted to try for a while, and it's these fun towel scrunchies. I got them from Ulta. It's in the Kish brand, but they're these giant scrunchies. They have like little polka dots on them. My trypophobia kind of freaks out over these sometimes but um basically you just put these in your hair when you're out of the shower or when your hair is wet and it kind of just soaks up all of the water like a towel so it's in like this nice towel material i am one of those people that just likes to put my hair up when i'm out of the shower i like to put it in a low bun so um i thought it would be really interesting to try these out so far i tried them once and it actually helped dry my hair a lot quicker if you guys saw my hair care routine video then you would know i tend to air dry my hair more than blow dry it so i thought this would be very useful not only in vacation when i get out of the pool or any kind of water, but when um, I get out of the shower on a everyday basis. Next things up, I got these super, super pretty necklaces from Target. It actually came in a pack of three. I honestly thought this was just like one giant necklace. So here are the different chains. This one is the thicker one, and then it kind of thins out. And I just think these are super, super pretty. I'm actually more of a silver jewelry kind of gal, but I feel like gold complements my skin tone the most and with the outfits that I wear the most. Plus my go-to purse is gold, so I thought I would get some gold jewelry as well. I never ever shop in the jewelry section at Target, but after getting those necklaces, I definitely will. I'm wearing necklaces, bracelets, the whole shebang. I'm honestly not too into jewelry like i don't wear all the time obviously i'm not wearing any jewelry now and i don't have my ears pierced so um i'm typically not a jewelry kind of gal but i would like to tap into more of like the rings and necklaces so i thought these necklaces would help a lot in my jewelry journey as well as spicing up my outfits on vacation next i wouldn't say this is a vacation purchase i would say this is more of a i've seen it on a line before and i really want to try it so it is by the monday hair care and i got their shampoo and conditioner i was surprised to see it was in target because i didn't know they had it at target and typically my location doesn't really have all of the new things when it's out and it has very little selection it's always picked over so when i saw these i thought i would give them a try so i got the volume shampoo and the smoothing conditioner i really wanted to get the smoothing shampoo so it would pair well together but they didn't have the shampoo again with the whole picked over thing this says i'm for thin and lifeless hair i have pretty thick hair and i just wanted to give my my hair some volume and then this is obviously for smoothing so this is for frizzy and dull hair um, so I cannot wait to try this obviously the packaging is what caught my eye the most because I love my pink things the next thing I got was a new chapstick and I haven't bought anything from EOS in literally since middle school so i found this coconut spf chapstick which i thought would be perfect because where i'm going is actually going to be almost 100 degrees so i was like maybe i should put some spf on my lips kind of like get a new chapstick because the one i currently have right now is literally like on its last leg i need to get a new one so i picked this one up and i've used it for a couple days already and i'm not the biggest fan of it it's very like stiff and it kind of feels exfoliating when I put it on my lips. I think that's like the SPF. But the smell is honestly not that bad. It doesn't really smell like coconuts, but it's okay. I think I will use this chapstick whenever I am going outside and I know I'll be outside for a long time. So the next thing that I got is actually from Amazon and I was on the lookout for a fun vacation dress. And I saw this one floating around my Pinterest and I really wanted to get this kind of dress. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna take it on vacation and I'll explain why. But I got this ruched tank top dress 
dress. Um, I'll do a little try on here, but I really, really like the dress. The quality is amazing. It's actually like that ribbed stretchy material and I feel like it fits me really well, but not for a family vacation. I feel like this would be better if I wore this on like a date night or something, if I could ever get one. But um, after further thought, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna save it for a special occasion. And I got that off Amazon. I believe it was $18, $20, something around there. I, I'm 100% sure it's under 25. Speaking of Amazon purchases, I have been actually obsessed with scrolling through Amazon. They have a section where it's like the social media favorites and I literally just scroll through all of those and I look in the little clothing and accessory like stores that they have on there. And obviously I had to get these clips. I feel like they're so basic. If you're like a Amazon Instagram influencer or whatever, but it's these giant jaw claw clips jaw clips i don't know why i said jaw am i saying that right and i actually really really like these because i have a lot of hair and this just really grabs it all together so i got a pink one i got a green one brown and black and um these are actually like in a softer material which i didn't even like think about when i was buying these i didn't know that they were like matte and like really soft and smooth but i'm really liking these i might have to buy more colors in the future but i definitely will bring these with me on vacation um because i will figure out some fun claw clip hairstyles and the last thing i got on amazon was actually this really cute bathing suit unfortunately it hasn't come in yet and i'm low-key stressing because i don't think it's gonna get here by the time i have to leave i'll throw like a cute picture up here it's basically like this cute orange ruffled top with um black and white thin striped bottoms i feel like that would be a perfect potential swimsuit for my vacation um i would be definitely screwed if i didn't get this swimsuit on time because i don't have any other swimsuit will i go in the pool will i not go in the pool i think it's in the fate of amazon right now so that is all the things that I intentionally got for vacation. Here are just the other random things that I've gotten in this last month. So the first thing I bought was the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish and it's in the shade Pixie Peach. I've worn this a couple times so far and I really, really like this nail color. Typically I go for more of like a sheer pink or very neutral. Sometimes I throw in some black nail polish in the winter time. So going with some color was definitely out there for me and i really really like this color it's like the perfect shade of coral however it doesn't really last the longest now this one i'll have to give an honorable mention and it's the alani new energy drinks they recently came out in stores and i've been seeing them in all of my local stores and i I'm a big fan of Alani New now. So um, I actually have a rank of my favorite flavors. This one right here is the Mosa one. Um, that's the one I recently got. But my favorite of all time right now is the Watermelon Wave. And then the Mimosa. They have it in like this really weird like hippie looking can. It's like a cherry limeade one. By the way, they just came out with a cherry slushy drink and I cannot wait to try it. I think the next one down the line would be Breezeberry and then Cosmic Stardust, which is actually my mom's favorite. And then the Hawaiian Shaved Eyes. I'm not really a big fan of that one. So that's like my little ranks of like my favorites from what I've drank so far, but I cannot wait for the cherry slushy to come out. This next one is actually right behind me and I got a new basket. Let me go get it. I got this new basket from Target. It was only like $25, which I thought was pretty impressive. It's actually pretty huge, but I like to put my throw blankets and my throw pillows in here. Um, it honestly kind of looks like a cupcake now that I'm seeing it. I really wanted to find a new basket because the other one just kept like folding up because I would just like throw random things on there. So it kind of like crease and like fold in. It just really didn't look so pretty. So um, I wanted to get this basket because I wanted to add more black accents in my room. Since my full length mirror has like a black frame, I wanted to complement that with this basket. 
I definitely want to do more like room makeover videos in the future. I just want to like modernize my room because I just like it to be very neutral, pretty minimal. So um, this is like a step closer. Okay, we're almost done with all of the things that I got. So this next one was actually a really random purchase, but I got a lemon essential oil. I've been on this whole essential oil kick because I get really bad stomach aches if I have like greasy or dairy food. I go through some episodes where I have really bad stomach aches and um, I read online that peppermint oil helps and I conveniently got a um, essential oil and an oil diffuser for Easter. So I tried the peppermint oil and that worked wonders for me. Literally the stomach ache and the nauseous feeling went away within like five minutes. I was so impressed. So I thought I would use that for more of like my stomach aches and sometimes like room aroma, but I wanted to try this lemon one just to have in my room going all day because I love my oil diffuser. I love anything citrus. So um, this also purifies the room. So I'm really excited for that. I chose a good oil for my room. Um, so that was just like a random little purchase that I got. Now, the last thing, I have gotten this a while back and I absolutely love it and I needed to find an opportunity to mention this in my videos, but it is this light up mirror. I was kind of on the market for a new mirror because I had my previous one for a long time. It was too bulky for my vanity space. So I got this one from Amazon. I think it was like under 30 bucks. It was like 25 or something like that. But it has this kickstand so you can lean it back as far as you want. And then it also has this for your phone. So you can literally put your phone on top of here and watch your YouTube videos, which is something I really like to do while getting ready. I like to watch YouTube videos, but you either plug this in or add batteries, which I highly recommend adding batteries because when I plugged it in and used it for the first time, the plug that I used to power it was like really, really hot. So I just put batteries in it and I haven't had any like overheating issues. All you have to do is press once to turn on and this is like your typical like white light and then you press it again for warm light and then again for natural. That's what I typically do. And then again for off. But what you can actually do is you can press and hold the power button and you can make the light go darker and then brighter. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's like super, super cool. So um, I honestly thought I was just gonna get something that lit up, but the fact that it had like different modes was really cool. And it was like under 30 bucks too. So I thought that was a pretty good bargain for that. But that is all that I have bought this month. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific. Again, all of the things that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description as well as my social media. So if you like to see it my day-to-day -day life, follow me on Instagram. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!